Welcome to Jew Song Gaming. And for today's episode, we are going to try to finish easily, I might add, our Shivan run. Our first Shivan run, and we are luckily enough that we are blessed by RNG Jesus to have been to have obtained the weapon preigniter. I pretty much sunk in a lot of bars scrap to just almost maximize our weapon system that's why I am really still it might not be in my best interest but I still want to upgrade my weapon system or my weapons the chain laser in doing it for me or some of that sort or we can still change the hull beam for something much more effective beam so we still have really really bad mm, defense systems and we are not sinking all of our scrap yet just yet because we still want our seventh mm, shall we say yeah hawking we can just bypass MC mind control and here we go time to have some fun <laughs> <laughs> oh great yeah yeah sure 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 of course so let's just use the heavy laser to just eat this oh come on come on just don't do this to me I deserve better time for the alpha strike to happen Oh, and this is basically the reason why I still want some hacking because my four weapons aren't up to speed right now. So we could use some work, a lot of work actually. And why does this, um, shall we say, ship giving me so much trouble when it's not even... I don't know why its weapons are so weak. Sure! Give me six fuel and a decent amount of scrap. Sure. Thank you for really helping me out there, buddy. The donation is accepted. We're getting our third layer of shield slowly but surely. We still want some extra scrap on our pockets. Hmm, so there's the store. So how are we going to design ourselves to keep moving towards that by delaying it as much as possible? Okay, now this is a bit scary of a layout, but I will make do. And it must be so weird to see that I am prioritizing shields over the usual weapon system. That's basically the magic of cloaking. A second insurance. But now of course everything must be lost. Because the weapon pregniter is quite insane in its potential we do want something huge though either it is a Vulcan a glaive or just a simple halberd I, I want to get something that's big that can really really take off make it work because I simply have a weapon preigniter and a fully upgraded weapons guy Let's go to Nebula and then just go downward and then incrementally go up to the store. Attack this ship. Why should I remain hidden from this pleb rebel fighter? That was a bit of a mistake though. Oh yeah, good luck. I have two mantises here waiting for you.
There we go, still. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, sure, sure, sure. They are very, very powerful combat combatants. To have made my mantis sweat a bit. Nope. Not tempting enough. Time to heal up, my precious mantises. Hmm. My anti-border patrol has finally started. And I think that's enough. Time to put some love. Oh, no, 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 not yet. We have a store. Now that we have seen a store, you know what that means usually. It means do not spend any scrap because we don't know how much we are going to buy. Rock, rock crew member. I'm something to sell. Just something to sell. No. Simple no. No. Oh, would you look at that? Your shield system might has a problem of some sorts. You should look into it. Wow, you really do want to fight my mantises. Must be something about fair play, although... Ooh, they're actually quite dangerous. Mm, my shields guy might intervene with this. Tempting. Very, very tempting. I think we should. I really want a surplus of fuel even in this late time. So let's just imagine if this is not a fuel. Fuel costs about 3 scraps, so this basically, what, mm, 15 scrap total? We're basically in the 6th sector, right? Let me just recheck, okay? It's just going to be very, very fast. Hmm. Yes, we are in the 6th sector, so... I'd rather not want. Will not accept. Wow, and they just. Really, in the nick of time, just run away to their destruction. Better deal, see? A better deal that they didn't make. Too bad for them. Condolences. If it was 7 to 8 fuel. If it was 7 to 8 fuel. But it wasn't. And let's go to the store now. Finally! What do you offer me? Better be good! This is what I'm talking about. So let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. I really want to go ham on this because, oh boy, I, I, I want to Splurge a bit. There we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Backup DNA I do not need. Let's go to the store. Not store, just upgrade this to maximum impact. And basically that's it. We now just have to upgrade our hacking system and we're good to go. Although <laughs> our 
We need to end the fight before something terrible happens. Because we still have two layers of shields when we should have three by now. Prevent a riot. For some ungodly reason, there's still plenty of riots to be had. We'll never surrender. That crew better be wonderful or wonderful because I am not going to surrender this. It's just too good. Now our priorities is actually to just destroy the weapon system. We're just trying to preserve as many drones as possible because now we're hacking. Okay. Okay, time to have some ooh, insane amount of damage done to this wonderful, wonderful ship we live in. Can I cheeky play this? Nah. Yeah, this is basically the better sort. And by that, we no longer need to use any form of the defense drone don't do dead in anything. Oh, this is quite good. We actually need someone for repair. So sure, I'll accept the offer. Wow! I never thought I'd say this, but that's a great deal. You just save yourself. From imminent destruction. And there we go. I need more scrap. That's the only thing I need now. We have basically almost that. Oh, come on. There's still quest lines. Not a fan. That's worth it because right now our reactors are actually on the 30s, so that was a worth trade. <clears throat> but sure, we still need some. Uh, we need to put some love on our on our shield system. Sell drone parts. Well, there's one thing to be said. We're not heavily relying on hacking just yet, so we could preserve some of that right now. Just so I could put some love on this. And there we go. Right now, since we're not yet using hacking yet, so let's just not waste any reactor power on that. And oh my goodness. We have an NG. NG home rules might be a better sort. Because Slug Home Nebula is never offering anything good. None. None whatsoever. So let's see, if I go upwards. I guess I'll go downwards. And this is basically a, um, a dead end. So we can still go to the U-turn from this side. So we're going to the upper route first. Ignore. Quest line it is. Not having the um, a long range scanner is actually, you know. Oh, you're forcing me to go to a store? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How dare you? You know full well that I can't buy anything right now. God damn it. I would do I would really love some backup batteries, but 
Well, fate is an asshole sometimes. Okay, right now the net gains and the rewards are very, very good. Now we can actually hack worth of them. Hmm. You are wasting me. Pl this is basically a really large amount of empty beacons. Are you kidding me? No, it's not worth it to go to a store just to sell a hull beam just to get a backup battery, right? Just be sure not to blow them up. Okay. Fine. Did the missile fire? Oh, just the letter, right? Hmm. Might as well invest. There's two missiles there. That, oh, I didn't actually need to do it. Let them live. Oh, that was a waste of drone parts. Uh, Anyway, I think our next upgrades will be our piloting. The sensors can just go take a dive. We are not. We have in no need of such. Oh, so many wasted beacons because right now that's the only time we got. To the uh, stealth cruiser event. Oh, come on. We have, we have defense drones and level 3 shields by this point, so there's no problems if we just go straight to just level 3 hacking. We can forsake a fourth level of shields right now. Oh, I don't even have a human to talk to this guy. Oh dear me. Oh, still, Mantis Crew, even if the victim dies, going to net me something a bit. Uh, what a shame still. What a shame. Shame. Still wasting precious amount of beacon jumps because of that unfortunate amount of drone parts being sold. Oh, this is the worst Sector 7 I've ever been through. We had the NG for those special events, but it didn't pay off that much. Just. Put me down while you're at it. And finally, our savior, our lord and savior for unlocking Crystal Cruiser has finally arrived. Roxy is unlocked. Okay, so. It's in our best interest to not go to repair beacons because we don't need the repairs. Nor do we need any other resource right now, so we're going straight to every single action we can act we can find in this hellhole. So there you go. 
On drone control, huh? And it's time for me to go ballistic to this. Oh, it's attacking hacking, huh? No. I know your death gives will give me something more than just that. Try better. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I am winning this, you are not going to just one hit my mantis like my previous iterations have weirdly enough made it happen. Hmm. We can still Let's go. Let's get some reactor powers first. Uh, really want some. Really want that optimal forty-five. But if we're lucky enough to get a combat in every beacon we go to, we just might get enough scrap for us to power up a fourth level of shields. Hmm. Oh dear. Okay, good. You're there. For some ungodly reason, you picked that up. And we'll shoot the glaive in before we cloak this flak attack. Like so. And they're dead, Jim. They're dead. <laughs> Since there's four of them by that point. The boarding drone, I mean, the room didn't even get A rated fast enough. Those four were able to fix that breach very, very quickly. go put some love on that shield baby yeah let's go upward let's go forward now try to hit every beacon there because most likely it will it will have a sort of combat ready oh sure cloaking We are going to pour my pour some wonderful love on your Okay, here we go. Too bad. Another combat ship and we can upgrade our our shields to maximum. Well, but at the very least, you're giving me plenty of experience, although it's not. Lava is the only one that's getting some wonderful love. I hope Ignis can get some level 1 brawler type. But it, it did pay off that now I have an NG just for the sake of repairing, because it's scary to have only these mantises to work with for repairs. Oh boy, there's a store. And we can still go to the repair beacon as long as... Oh, no, no, no. It's a dead end by this point. I hope there's no invasion of beacons when I go upwards by this point. Oh, an empty one. That didn't work out that well. Ah... <sighs> Your loadout ain't scary, man. Just 
plenty of ions to work with. Although you do have stealth weapons, which is very, very scary. But your ion won't penetrate my Zoltans. Hmm, there we go. The glaive. Oh, the glaive. I had so many defenses. Or the weapon Prigniter actually detrimented my... Right now my piloting isn't even up to maximum because... The fight just ends before it can even go... It, he can even put some love on evasion. Oh dear me. Okay, that's something. Okay, so... Hmm... Yeah, it's much better to invest on backup batteries, right? I know we're going to be manned by so many stuff I have so many people right now, but it's worthless to invest on door systems when there's no ventilations to help you with that. So we're selling our hull beam and our ion blast for those backup battery. Right now we don't even have to max a backup battery just yet. Although we don't, we are lacking in. Yeah, this is basically the end of the line. We don't, we no longer have any um, any form of scrap to work with. So, just so I don't die of asphyxiation. Oh, there's it's too. I, oh, sure, sure, sure. I already had level two of that, so. Let's go with sensors. It might help that I will see their crew without anyone ma- Oh, no, 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 there's... What am I saying? I already have some Mantis guys looking onto that. Yep, thank goodness I have level 2 oxygen, so... This is not a problem. I can just devote a lot of power onto some power onto my oxygen system time to hack you now oh I actually want my defense drones no 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 I have hacking Now cloak. And just do this. Oh this is beautiful. The glaive beam is actually can just immediately shut down a single weapon system with just one swipe. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh dear. <laughs> that was fast. You had no chance. Although it's going to be a bit of a problem against the phase 3. Although the glaive beam might <laughs> do a shit ton of damage to the Zoltan shields. If beam damage is ba if if Zoltan shield the structure is based on beam damage. And now it's in our best decision to actually invest on some reactor power, but we do not have any more beacons to work with, so it's going to be immediate fight. Fight!
Oh, that didn't work. Annoyingly enough. God damn it. Mantises, go there and do your stuff. You are not nicking me of this opportunity to immediately destroy your wonderful missile system. And it's offline already. Oh, the glaive beam. Oh, it's so sexy. Okay, what if you just go here, heal up. Because this assault is not going to last long. Oh, that drone is not going to help out, work out. But this glaive beam will. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. One shot. Mantis, help out. No, no. Oh, it's already finished. Because the ship died. MG, help me repair this before something bad happens. There we go. Heal up, and it's over. Now we have some leniency in. Just having more reactor power to work with so we can. Upgrade our defenses. The mind control is going to be a massive problem, though. And we don't, we didn't, we didn't do enough shots to really, really damage the crew. So it's going to be a kind of a hellish phase three. We'll see. Time to end this. Uh, it's going to be a short episode because the weapon breakdown is just fast forwarding every fight possible. Oh, it's the mantis that gets. Uh, this is going to be annoying. Use everything now. Hmm. Okay, now we can hack. And my my best interest is just Oh dear me, do we need to fight this mantis crew? I mean, it's mind control, which is annoying. Time to power this up. Damn it! Forget this. Oh dear me. Who's in danger? My mantis? Yeah. Just all of you abandon this right now. What the hell? That was so much damage. I need revenge on that. Oh, 
Hold the line, Ignis. Disable those missiles right now, ASAP. Well, it's disabled, so yeah. There goes my defense drone. Oh, my weapon system is going to shit, so let's intervene now. Ignis, what the hell? How much damage did you take from that? Okay, ending this now because I am annoyed on the amount of death that just happened on my crew. Oh wow! Oh! He died in the last minute! Oh, come on. I mean, last second. Of course, a mess score, but still, it's a victory nonetheless. That was not a very good... That's, that was not the ideal weapon pre-igniter run. The ideal weapon pre-igniter run would have... Well, allowed me to farm up on elite rebel fleets on... Nebula points on near the exit, so of course that's never going to happen again. Anyway, 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 we got the victory for our Rock Cruiser A and B. That basically means that I no longer have to deal with using this really really bad ships and we can just enjoy the rock sea from now on although the weapon system of roxy is total ass but the re my point is this specific crystal guy is going to be very very crucial to how we get the crystal cruiser quest and the ancestry achievement right here but when all is said and done, I think it's time for me to end the Rock uh, Rock Cruiser arc right for now. For now, we're just going to just delay it. I need some change of pace. I want something non-rock. So we're going to decide right now. Hmm. I'm going to decide right now what to do on the next episode. I think it's time to put some love again to the Kestrel A. We need some progress on the achievements of Kestrel A. But how are we going to do the specific achievements? Six unique aliens on the Kestrel cruiser simultaneously. This is basically very very difficult. S since our layout doesn't have immediate starting aliens although if we get plenty of pirate control systems we might get we might just catch a break have 11 systems installed on the Kestrel cruiser at one time a tough little ship okay okay you know the easiest way to do tough little ship buy a firebomb Hit yourself and just keep the fire alive and just repair the systems once again have some good doors while you're at it and then just be at a store while you're doing it so our priorities are on full arsenal and tough little ship so I might just say that it's going to be a very serious run it's not going to be well tough little ship we that does mean that we're going to invest on some something if there's an asteroid field near the store, as in one jump away, that would be good. Although, if there's an enemy ship and our FTL is ready to jump, we might just allow ourselves to get damaged a lot. Tough little ship is very, very difficult to do. Oops, it is. 
see well that's another that's another win rate down basically my win rate right now because of that and of course because of the defense drones don't do anything it's abysmal you might not be seeing it because it's in my part of my face right now right here but it says total victories is 10 total games played is 125 that's how many retries I have done oh dear Ugh. either way I just want to see the amount of stuff we have finished we have completed of course the scores because it's because this is pretty much uh, a very short episode and hander is still on top order of north quarter is still second place man of war is third place still so it's going to be very very common for the third place to fifth place spots to be completely outdone by a lot of ships and right now it's still it's going to be easy to get because they're basically just <clears throat> keep on playing. Skill and equipment feats. Have a single boarding drone kill four crew members on one ship. We are going to really attempt this on Mantis B. Get to sector 5 without firing a shot using an offensive drone or teleporting. I will need to research on that on how to do that but Right now our priority is on ship achievements. This can just be after the fact. Get to sector 5 with no system reactor upgrades. And get to sector 8 without buying at a store. Repairs are okay. This is going to be a Lanius B run. Because the Lanius B most likely won't need a lot of stuff to work with. And that's it for today guys. I hope you have enjoyed our abrupt weapon preigniter run. Every time you get an early weapon preigniter, things just just go fast forward. And it might have been better for us value wise to just not have sold a lot of weapons in order to buy more weapons. But you know, the the glaive. I just wanted to use the glaive before stealth B. Oh dear me. So guys, that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoy me in the next episode where we will use the Kestrel A once again in order to hunt some achievements in order to unlock our Kestrel B. So, see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.